In the new map viewer, you can add new features to your map by creating a sketch layer. Sketch layers are a new type of feature collection saved with the map, similar to map notes in Map Viewer Classic. They can be a quick and easy way to add a small number of features to the map. They allow you to add stamps or point layers, lines, polygons, and text, as well as additional information and pop-ups. Use sketch layers to create entirely new maps or use them to annotate existing maps and data. To add a sketch layer to the map, go to the Add button and select Sketch Layer. When a new sketch layer is added, the sketch tools will automatically open. You can access these tools later by selecting Sketch from the Layer Options or from the Properties panel. The Sketch tools provide various options to draw and select features on the map. These features are automatically added to your sketch layer. In this example, I can use the Polygon tool to draw building footprints on an empty lot. You can see that snapping is automatically enabled, allowing you to create right angles and straight lines. We've also added some information about additional shortcuts when drawing. You can also set the fill color, outline, and enable a pop-up. It's important to note that when you set the style for a sketch feature while in draw mode, the style and pop-up content persist for the next features you draw of the same type. Changes to the style apply to the most recently placed feature and to the features drawn after it. In select mode, you have the option to select single or multiple features at once. For example, if I select a single polygon, I can edit that polygon, I can double click and edit the vertices, and if you select multiple features, you can move them around, resize, or delete them. On this map, all the features you see were added as a single sketch layer. You can also see that I've enabled pop-ups on some of these pins. You can see that the map contains a combination of traditional pin symbols and some of the more whimsical pencil outline symbols. An exciting new element of the sketch experience in the new map viewer is that we also include almost 1,000 new symbols or stamps that allow users to create really unique maps. These include basic pin and point of interest symbols, as well as a variety of trees, landforms, buildings, and many more. These are accessed when drawing points, and here you can see some of the different examples of the different stamps that we have. For each of the stamps, you can also change the size, adjust rotation, the fill color, outline, and add pop-ups. There are many ways to take advantage of sketch layers in your project. You can use them to add detailed annotation to existing maps by creating multiple sketch layers visible at different scale ranges and take advantage of group layers to keep things organized. As with other layer types, you can apply transparency and set the visible scale range to sketch layers as well. This map contains two feature layers about Toronto's cycling infrastructure. One layer is a network of bike lanes and trails, and the other is bicycle parking posts. I've combined each of these layers into a group with a sketch layer that can be used to provide feedback on its associated feature layer, so that the data can be updated accordingly. I've also set up visible scale ranges on the layers so that the map does not get too cluttered or confusing when zooming out. The freehand line or polygon drawing tools available in Sketch make it simple to mark up your existing maps and data. Take advantage of the various fill and outline settings, combine them with text, or even add pop-ups. You can also combine the artistic stamps and fonts available in Sketch with other cartographic enhancements only available in the new map viewer, such as layer blending. This allows you to create beautiful maps without even leaving the viewer. In this last example, I've used Sketch to add text and these mountain symbols and combine them with a feature layer of the Appalachian Trail. I've also used a combination of group layers, layer blending, and filter to display just the base map and state labels for the states that the trail goes through.